Welcome to Joe B, a movie and a bottle of wine. Look at the cat. Dad comes over to visit and takes up the kitty cat space, but I swear any uh, anywhere I am, the cat is comfortable. Anywhere I am, she's right there and she's comfortable. Don't you love this cat? This is the best cat ever. Hey everybody, it's me and Matt and the cat, but she's in the kitchen waiting for treats. You'll see her later. We had a great night. My dad came over and stayed and we watched uh, Logan Lucky. It was the new Channing Tatum movie. It was very good. Everybody liked it a lot. Channing Tatum, I just love watching him. He is the most believable actor I have ever seen. Like, he could be anything and do anything and I would totally believe it. What happened to you? I went through the train. What happened to you? I jumped over it. You could do that? Yeah. I told you to read that manual. It's a manual? Um, I, I watched another movie this week that I just cannot scream about enough. It was called Valerian. Valerian was the little police officer guy. Um, that was his last name. Uh, he had this beautiful girlfriend rihanna was in it it was the sexiest most voluptuous dancing scene if you watch nothing else about this movie if you watch rihanna do her dancing scene ah, but it gets better from there and better before then and better after then and oh it's it's amazing we enjoyed it very much uh or i enjoyed it and I showed Rihanna to my dad, but Matt didn't get to see that one. I'm sorry. He's going to watch that one with Mom later. Um, uh, it, oh, and with some things that I want to throw in, it was a 3D movie. And um, it's the city of a thousand planets. So there's like a thousand different um, uh, species of aliens. And their little ships are all hooked together. And they're out in space, and they're all living together. It, it, it was really good. But if nothing else, I'm telling you, Rihanna's dancing scene. Um, it was a graphic novel. The director was from um, Lucy and the Fifth Element. Just think of those two. Kind of put them together. Oh, think about all the special effects and graphic stuff. And, oh, it was good. And then watch the movie. Um, I, I watched one that I didn't care so much for. It was um, Camera Obscura. The story sounded really good. All right, so the guy gets this camera. It's an old camera, and he takes pictures of things, but the pictures that come out of it are like from the future. So he goes back and tries to change he goes back and tries to change things, but the story changes as he changes things. It just gets deeper and deeper. I could go on and on, but uh, I would skip Camera Obscura. I'm sorry to say. I hate to give anything a bad rating because I'm so open-minded. Uh, as you'll see in my next rating, Radius. Holy cow, people. This is so cool. So this dude wakes up from a car accident, and he has amnesia. Um, he, he, everything in the vicinity of him dies until this girl comes along and, and they hook up and they seem loving and stuff. And then you get to the end of the movie and you find out why they're together. And it, it was f***ed up people. That's all I can say. It, it's, it's the reason they're together is not the relationship that they should be having with each other. It's, it, it's amazing. Oh, God, I don't want to give it away. Don't let me give it away. Radius. The birds fall out of the sky and die. I mean, it is so cool. You're going to love that one. Um, uh, Stranger Things. We're still enjoying that. There is still not a cell phone in it. There's not a computer in it. These people are not texting each other or emailing each other or tweeting each other. I, it is right up my alley, people. <laughs> It's kind of scary. <laughs> um, 
I have a few wines to review this week. Uh, I've given you some great movies to work with. Um, the Christmas Beaujolais came in at Costco. I showed Matt earlier. I have the last couple of years in, in the kitchen. And this is the new one. Look at this beautiful bottle. It is the first wine of the har of the harvest. Look how beautiful that is. Every year, it's a more beautiful bottle. It's um, it's fruity. It's a Beaujolais. It's a little dry, but it's a little fruity. But I look forward to it. I got two bottles to take to my aunts for Thanksgiving because there may be some wine drinkers there. Um, I have another one. This was on sale at Costco. It's a little pricier. It's H3. It's a red blend. Um, it's fancy. I liked it pretty good. I did like it pretty good. I would buy it again. Maybe buy a few more bottles before it goes off of sale. But at the price that it normally is, it's not my bag, baby. <laughs> And I moseyed on across the street over to Lytle and look what I found. Some more Sinful Grin Red Blend. This is grapey grape, y'all. Grapey grape. I love the little devil on it. But I moseyed across the street and got one. You, you, the, the alcohol content is good, but it's, uh, it's definitely grapey grape. I, I can't express that enough. If you ha don't like grapes, you're not going to like this. Grapey grape. Howdy! Grape, the name. Goofy grape. But why they call me Goofy, I don't know. <laughs> yes, sir. I'm one of the new funny face drinks from Pillsbury. Funny face is fancy drinks. <clears throat> one of the new funny face drinks. Okay. <laughs> and, of course... Bam! We got some Blaze, drinking some Locos. This Blaze is very good. I'm liking it a lot. I had to stop drinking the blue ones, I told you, because it stained my mouth blue. And I'd wake up in the morning and try to get ready for work, and my mouth was still all blue. I'm blue. But this one doesn't do it, y'all. It's good. Um, I hope y'all have a great Thanksgiving tomorrow. I'm going to have a good one. I think I've orchestrated it masterfully. I'm proud of myself. It takes a lot of doing. You know, what are you doing? What are you doing? What time are you doing it? What do you need me to bring? Who, who am I bringing with me? Holy cow, people. Life's a hoot, ain't it? Um, one thing oh, that has taken my breath away is pecan pie. Do you see this pecan pie? I would hug it, but I'd get it all over myself. Pecan pie. I've been waiting all year for pecan pie, and here it is. Look how much of it I ate. My dad ate a little bit, but I ate the most of that. <laughs> <coughs> Who knows? I might eat some more. But I hope y'all enjoy your day tomorrow. I hope you spend some time with your family and some friends or somebody significant that makes you happy and enjoy yourself and have some wine. And if you don't have a turkey, watch a movie. Anyway, take care, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye. Thank you for watching Joby, a movie and a bottle of wine.